Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Banson from Civil Survey Solutions. Over the next few videos I will be demonstrating the use of civil site design for the design of a new car park and intersection reconstruction. I want to be able to model this project so that if any changes are made to the horizontal or vertical geometry then the design model can be easily updated. To achieve this I'm going to use a mix of the automated design tools and the string based design tools within the software. The final model will be constructed using the model builder command. To begin I'm going to create the roads and apply the cross section templates. Carden Boulevard is the main road it is about 16 metres wide and includes curb and channel on both sides. The car park access road will be designed with 2% one-way cross fall to the oval. For both roads, I'm setting the sampling to 5 metres so that the model includes more triangulation. The side road at the intersection is car park access. For the time being, I will leave the vertical design to the software's initial best fit design. My aim is to first set up the design model with many editable components. After doing this, I can focus on detailed design and see the model update as I do this. Next, the curb returns will be added using the automated curb return command. The returns at the car park entrance will be 7 metres. At the western side, the return radius will be 11 metres. The roundabout tool will be used to model in the roundabout. I have one alignment named inner and an offset alignment named outer controlling the horizontal geometry. The island R template will be applied to the inner annulus. The islands at the intersection will be added later on once we have created the final design model in Model Builder. We're now going to move over to the eastern side of the project and begin work on the car park. The car park will be designed so that there is a single grade break running through the car park, which will fall minus 2% towards the oval on the northern side and minus 2% towards an open channel to the southern side. To achieve this, we're going to apply a template named base that will be used to build the shape of the car park. We will generate a surface model from this base string, which will be named Car Park Base Surface. There are two alignments named Car Park 1 and Car Park 2, which will be used to model in the curb and channel around the extents of the car park. These alignments will be created as drape strings and their elevations will be matched to our car park base surface. If the elevations on our car park base surface change, then these draped strings can be updated. First, let's set up the car park base surface. We will create this as a string and apply the base cross section template. Sampling will be set to 1 meter. Once again, we will leave the vertical design as it is for now. We can now create a surface model from this string. Using the Create Drape Strings command, the Car Park 1 and Car Park 2 strings will be created. These strings will be automatically matched to the Car Park base surface and a curb template will be assigned. We are also going to use this command to create the islands at the intersection. These islands will be matched to our automatic model named Total Model and an island template will be assigned. All strings have now been created. In the next video, we will be using Model Builder to build the final design surface model.